Hi! Calling all of you who want to be a younger you. Build a bigger, better brain at any age. Restore your remarkable memory and learn how to have a young and vibrant brain. I think most of you by now know how old I am and my brain is ticking along. And did you know that we're going to learn today that you can prevent cognitive decline, dementia, and even Alzheimer's. Now the scariest thing for people over 55 is dementia and it does not have to happen. The brain is plastic, which means it's flexible and it can grow new cells and make strong new connections at any age. Now your six enemies of a healthy brain are stress, sleep, um, uh, poor sleep, poor nutrition, toxins. Toxins are a big one. And laziness, you gotta work that little guy or big guy, and lack of sun. So let's act preventatively. Support your neurotransmitters. Because you know what? To fight a disease after it has occurred is like trying to dig a well when you're thirsty. So don't wait. Now what is most important? Maintain your levels of progesterone, which is a natural neuroprotectant. Studies show progesterone can even improve outcomes from brain injuries like stroke. You want to also support your dopamine, your serotonin, your GABA, and your phosphatidylserine. So let's talk about the serotonin dopamine connection. You, this is a big one. Dopamine is necessary for feelings of joy, increased focus, um, and suppresses appetite, by the way. Low dopamine can lead to obesity, ADHD, Parkinson's, depression, addiction, libido loss, and even restless legs. So raise your dopamine naturally. This is easy to do. You do it every day and you're done with raising that dopamine because you're going to take some L-tyrosine, 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. I call it joy in a bottle and I take it daily, l tyrosine. Now for serotonin, adequate serotonin equals great mood, restful sleep, no cravings. You know it's been said that uh, raising your serotonin levels is like sending your brain on a trip to Hawaii. Well who doesn't refresh uh, after they come back from a, a trip to Hawaii? So give your brain serotonin. If it's low, you're going to have cravings, forgetfulness, feelings of uh, being scatterbrained, worn out, um, sleep disturbances. So raise your serotonin naturally. First, I want you all to start getting seven hours of sleep a night. And if you're not, you're going to call me because I can help you with that. If you don't, your serotonin will drop. Take progesterone, about 40 milligrams a day. I love 5-HTP because that raises serotonin. 50 to 100 milligrams a day. And melatonin is the one that the sleep, is the sleep hormone, three milligrams a day. Another one is pregnenolone. That's another hormone and um, about 10 milligrams a day to start. So now we've talked about the dopamine and the serotonin. What about GABA? Well, GABA controls the brain's rhythm, keeps your brain at a calm, steady pace and stop stressors from affecting your brain. And that relaxes your brain and lets it rebuild and do the job it needs to do. If you have low GABA, you're gonna be anxious, you have mood swings, and um, without it, your glutamate takes over, excites the brain, so you're always feeling like pedals to the metal and your um, thoughts are racing. Well, the GABA glutamate balance is critical, so you raise your GABA levels naturally. Take 550 milligrams of GABA a day. Zen Mind is a great one. Okay, next, I'm sorry to say, everybody out there, you're going to reduce that stress because st extreme stress immediately reduces memory and cognition by 50%. So when you're totally stressed, you're not thinking properly because stress disengages your frontal lobe. Oh no! And your serotonin and your GABA are highly depleted by a stressful life. Depletes the neurotransmitters. Cortisol sucks up serotonin and GABA like a vacuum cleaner. So you've got to keep replacing your GABA and serotonin. But if you're stressed all the time, I love 
phosphatidylserine. It helps the brain and body control cortisol levels, and that's going to alleviate your stress and alleviate the stress on your brain. And don't forget your progesterone. Remember we talked about toxins. The reason a lot of us are losing our memories earlier is our brains are so um, exposed to toxins. And the brain is highly influenced by the neurotransmitters and their relationship to hormones. So progesterone for the brain is a natural anti-anxiety agent. So there you go. Build a bigger better brain and you start today and if you want to have this all written down in a pamphlet and you, all you have to do is ask i want you to be the younger you for the rest of your life